And I talked to a landlord who told me not only tenants, but landlords are feeling a lot of tension right now. I own and manage 10 rentals. Scott Miller has been a landlord for years. I live in Las Vegas. But his properties are across the border in Bullhead City. At this point, we're not evicting anybody. Uh, we, we understand that uh, everybody's in a squeeze right now and none of this is anybody's fault. And we think it makes a lot of sense for landlords to be compassionate. He's not collecting rent. I asked him about the governor's directive to funnel $40 million directly to landlords. The rental supply chain needs uh, relief. And I think direct payments to the landlord is the best way to do it. It's also a way, he told me, to protect the property. If you evict tenants and it's for no cause of their own, chances are they're going to damage the house. They're going to leave it a mess. And that's thousands and thousands of dollars to repair and a lot of extra time before you can actually re-rent the house again. The smell was unbearable. That's exactly what happened to Eddie Lucero. I mean, the mattresses were, were big stains. There was excrement in the toilet, feces on the, on the walls. Trash, rats, flies, and feces, about $20,000 worth of damage to his rental home. I have no money coming in, but the mortgage still needs to be paid. Unlike Eddie, Scott isn't eligible for Nevada's rental assistance program since his properties are in Arizona, but still has a message for tenants and landlords alike. And let's just all be nice and compassionate. We need that right now.